we have worked with boxing out negativity for years and years. Uh, Derek gave a bit of the origin story, showing up here with a bunch of broken bikes, like really broken bikes, very regularly, and us wondering what happened, and then growing that into a partnership where we'll fix bikes, we'll participate in rides. Um, we're wrenching right now and filling the basement of the boxing gym, mm -hmm. hopefully with up to 200 bikes to get out on the streets on May 20th, uh, if not a little bit before, mm -hmm. or breaking out negativity. Um, and Derek Bowie's been playing to steal from me. I'd love to, um, for the benefit of some who haven't met you before, kind of hear the origin of um, boxing out negativity and how you work bikes into it, and what's ahead for this season. I mean, I know y'all have grown a, a lot over the last couple of years. It's been wonderful to see. Um, I'm glad that we can continue to participate in, in what you're doing, and if there's anything we can do more to help the work in the industry. Um, the story of boxing out negativity, I will go with myself. Um, June 24th, 1976. North Lawndale was a drug and gang infested community. Um, quite naturally, um, your environment dictates a lot of the things that goes on. And that was part of me. That's what I grew up into um, all my life. Um, the only resources to get in the youth center was to join the gang. Um, to get, a, get resources for activities is to do negative things. Um, I didn't know that I was that leader that everybody followed. Um, when I joined the gang, when I was allowed to join the gang at the age of 13, 80% of my community of my age um, turned and turned into the same gang that I jo um, joined. I ended up running the gang. Um, my mindset was, you know, to have, be power, have power in everything that I do. Um, again, idle mind for a child that knows an uh, ignorant child is the devil's playground. And that's what I found. Um, unfortunately, I spent half of my juvenile life incarcerated. When I went turned 17, I went to I went to the penitentiary. By the time I was 19, I was shot. My best friend ended up getting killed. And a lot of hell put my family in harm's way. I put so many people in harm's way without the understanding of life. Um, I got to a point that I was tired, thank God, that I made it up out of that madness. At the time I made it out, I was at the top of the rankings of the game, and the devil was in my ear bad, and he was telling me to take more land, and it's all, you know, I had to fight with that. But me to um, consciously make a decision is, if I continue destroying myself and others, my life could be deceased. Um, I, my children will be fatherless as I have grown up to be fatherless, and um, I left it all alone. I um, had, I had, you know, I asked God a way out. God's way of getting me out was to give me three cases, um, two pending drug cases, and the last one, I knew I couldn't make bond for that last case, and I was like, I see no daylight if I get convicted. Um, I prayed to God, said I won't no more, and magically, one case got threw out, two cases got threw out. The third one was in existence, and there I would make the choice. The choice I chose was to be a homeless man, then a man with all this money that the devil provided for me. Um, so I went homeless. My girlfriends with a big S left me. My main girlfriend left me for another man, and I was just a normal person for two years, um, no one knew and understood. I stayed in my car, but all while those two years, I was able to watch my environment and I started visualizing and seeing the play and the destruction that I played in the community. So one magically day, I seen a group of youth throwing rocks at cars and they would throw these rocks, uh, the rock, the car game, they'll hit the car and they'll take off running. Um, Unfortunately, it was me viewing myself again. These youth, um, only difference was when I was throwing rocks at cars, someone ended up getting killed. And I couldn't see Derek Brown happen again. I can't see Walter from 
Walter getting killed again. I can't see Andre Braxton going to jail for 100 years again. So to look at them was to look at myself and all my peers that I grew up with. So I started teaching them how to box. But it wasn't the intention of being all across the world or uh, competing. It was just to give these children something that they was lacking was attention and love. And boxing out negativity was born. Nineteen, I mean, two thousand and nine. Um, speed it up. My consistency with these youth, I developed some type of uh, relationship with the children, and that was it. Um, speed it up. We ended up getting a five hundred one c three. Um, right now, we currently have four hundred plus youth on registration. Um, the gym is, we're averaging 60 to 65 youth a day that go through us. Um, like, it is so amazing. But the, how we became a biking community, because my first job, I was 30 years old. <clears throat> about 28 years old, my first job. And youth, had, youth didn't have bikes. I remember, again, I looked at myself. I didn't have a bike when I was a kid. And... A kid was laughing at me because I didn't have a bike. I picked the hammer up, threw it, hit him in the head. Crack. I wasn't trying to. I just threw the hammer. But magically, that hammer hit this kid right in his head and gave him stitches. So um, I was thinking, man, I got to do something for this youth. So every time I got a check, I would go buy a bike. I would go buy a bike. I would go buy a bike. Unfortunately, they were the cheap bikes. So they'll break easily, So which led me here. Uh, we never heard of anybody having a bike shop. 40, 46 years old, never in life been to a bike shop. Never. Uh, somebody told us about working bikes. And um, I can work on bikes a little bit, but it was just a little too much. So I chose to pay for it. And that's the relationship I, I received with Trevor and um, Paul. And the interactions with them is like Almost that God sent me to another part of um, heaven, which connected us with working bikes because me and my youth would just ride bikes in the community. But um, I spoke with them. They ended up connecting us with um, slow roll and other um, biking events. And I remember my first critical mass was with Paul and um, Tre no, it was just you. And you was riding somebody on the other side of the bike and y'all rode. From my house all the way downtown on a two seater. So <laughs> that was so amazing, but it was critical <clears throat> mass. And when we got closer going to critical mass, we started seeing other bikers with all of these different type of funny type of bikes. I'm like, oh my goodness. And to connect with 5,000 plus other people, but the most important part, it was different nationalities, all different color folk intertwining together, happy, enjoying themselves, and that's way something different from when I came from. So I think vision. I got to do this. I need part of this here. And the vision of um, biking out negativity started that time, at that time when we did the uh, critical mass. Um, from that idea of critical mass with my thinking in North Lawndale, North Lawndale is still a hostile environment. But when coming through the community, and you have on boxing our negativity, the gang stops. They stop and give us uh they give us an open door. They stop the they stop the activity, they give us that safe passage. Instead of throwing up a gang sign, they'll throw up a unity sign, and it's a sneak discipline. So the birth of the street love ride and the purpose was the street never have love because how I know this because I was from the street. Um, I sold drugs. I did all these things thinking that this was the right thing to do. So I was viewing the streets as I was getting viewed. Only time people came through the streets and marched or something, it was because something happened. And it was the up with hope and down with dope. So the community was coming at us in a hostile way. It's like an act of war. So boxing out, the biking out negativity slash sleep, street love ride was a bike ride for us. Don't wait till something happens. Come through the community with different nationalities, different people showing love and let them know, look, people care. There are resources. There are other choices other than getting in the game, 
standing on the corner selling drugs, smoking alcohol, weed, or whatever. So through our weekly bike rides, um, a lot of parents will stop us. Uh, we that's a recruit tool. It's so we're making positivity cool in a place where it's always hostility. It's always violence. So now we're changing the narrative because a lot of people join gangs and all these other things because negative is cool. But we're reversing that and making cool a bike ride. It's the coolest thing to do. And again, you get to connect with other folks. You get to get outside your comfort zone, go outside your community, other blocks, meet other peoples. And again, just like this, having these conversations, sharing love, ideas, and also just playing our part and making the streets, our homes, a better place to stay, which that's an example. This is a world model that um, we can make world peace with this. Sorry for being so I tried to quickly pop the Yeah, appreciate it. You eat the bread? Yeah, she likes it. Hey, not the napkin though, Molly. Please. I grew up with Mr. Brown and we were both on the wrong side for a long time. And as I changed and he changed, we, we were reunited. Biking down negativity has brought so many different cliques because we really don't have gangs now. You know, they just like somebody died. It's pool gang, do dang, gang gang. Huh? But the beautiful thing is like in the summer when we ride and we mount up in front of the gym, everybody wants to ride. And everybody don't have a bike and we can go in the basement and pull up a bike. And it's just, you know, to see a 17-year-old that never rode a bike, it's like, you know, I'm 52. 20-plus-year-old guys had a yeah. bike. And it's, <laughs> you know, and we have to do it in the parking lot. But, you know, to see that, and it's beautiful because, like, that's something that they didn't, if they didn't have a dad or something, somebody didn't teach them. And to learn that and then have them teach somebody else is like reverse socialization. And it's beautiful. So we have all the gangs come up. And for that one, one to three hours, there's no cane thing. We just ran. Mm -hmm. We all got our shirts on and we're gone. I took ill last year, so I was this side passing. Mm -hmm. I'd rather drive. You know, we <laughs> nurse. <laughs> but, you know, my brother has brought a lot, has brought a lot of positivity back to the neighborhood. And I'd like to say thank you guys for the part y'all played in and also. Oh, we're lucky. We can, we can, baby, the way them kids do them bikes, I, I thought this, I always ask them, where do you fix them at? Because, I mean, sometimes after a bike ride, I don't know how it happens. It's just like 10 minutes before we stop. They done towed the whole bike up. How your tire come off? How did the chain come off? What did you do? And when did you have time to do it? But That's how I was about it, y'all. I was fixing the bike. Yeah, exactly. You Because you would bring in, like, Ben. Yeah. And Paul would be like, yeah, you can Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh. Tomorrow. But then when they <laughs> but when they come in, they're not regular biking, regular bike incidents. These bikes need trauma care. I learned I, miles on I learned the quality because I was getting the bike from Walmart at first. But mm -hmm. these bikes here last a hundred times, ten times greater. Mm -hmm. Like the strength, like riding from here to Everson or to Aurora, like it's some rough streets. And that humble car back right. Oh my God. We picked up like 50 kids that went into my neighborhood. <laughs> and they come there to boxing out negativity right to this day. That was such a light through and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, I mean. Is this a weekly ride? Okay. Yes, oh. yes. Every every Friday. Um, so we, we do like two rides in the neighborhood just. Like, cause if you ever if you ever ride with us, you don't see people coming out their doors like rah, rah, the stop stop. Like, it's amazing. It's the the best recruiting tool in the world. Like parent and always somebody wants to be part of the the the, the anointing part is. A lot of people don't have bikes, and you can come to the gym and you can always get a bike. And man, it's amazing. I love giving bikes away. Uh, I like I that mean, part. The, the most beautiful part is 
we get to to get the best gift in the world, which is here. Mm -hmm. And the appreciation and just to see, like one time I sent you a picture. We gave these bikes away. And um I just had to capture the moment. I was taking pictures because parents are just walking their children home with their bikes, trying to mm -hmm. teach them how to ride. And that was like amazing. Um, but now we're so big that we're giving the gift to give. So that was the reason we connected with D. Brown was to teach him the sneak discipline mm -hmm. of giving. And he, they, you feel so good after you give yeah. somebody something, but now we could just sit and watch him make that proud moment. It's like we're reversing the cycle of madness. Positivity is saving the day. Wow, by the way. That um, vegan pizza. <laughs> the, healthiest, the healthiest way you can no, eat. Meat. But to look on the kid's face that, you know, like I've been in outreach a long time, so I work with every issue and gang back. To see this tough Tony guy that I've worked with for three years, like, China, can I get a bite? You want a bite? Yeah, I want a bite. There. And then when you give him a bike, it's like, <laughs> like, well, close your mouth. What's wrong with you? All right, you can air it. What's going on? I don't know how to ride. You can do it. I'm not going to fall with you, but them guys back there, they got you. I'm too old to fall. You know, and just to see them in the lot with Derek and, the other, and our other employees, my coworkers, because we're all family. We're not a job. We're a family in a way of life. And to see them together is just exhilarating. So the Friday night rides, are they open to everybody? Yes, yeah. of course. Without a doubt, they're always open. I want many as people as possible, and that's a challenge. Like, if you, the media paints these horrible pictures of these communities, but at the end of the day, everybody's just looking for the same thing, some type of love, some type of help. But, and, and a sense of belonging. So, um, when, it don't matter who it is. They come, it's going to be the same thing. These, these jack rides are so therapeutic. And now we just implemented for the last couple of years, we do meditations before the ride. You know, the meditations are awesome. Singing bowls. The singing bowls. So I facilitate oh, meditations. Yeah. yeah. So I imagine a bunch of people in the light. I'm good. Singing bowls. Like my <laughs> meditations, great. you have to try one. I promise you, you'll, you'll love it. Great. And it, you know, and it, it brings a sense of unity with us. Mm. So like everybody that comes, we have kids come from little village that and then we have kids come from Filson. And I worked at a school out south that I graduated from Chicago State. We had kids mm -hmm. come from England. Now I want to come for that ride. So when we block off the last school with like 300 kids, I mean, it's nothing but love because you're looking like, what are they doing? Mm -hmm. Then you see all everybody has the same shirt, everybody smiling, laughing. And somebody's messing with a bike that ain't working because they done broke it already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but once again, grateful to you guys for being because I don't know what they be doing. But them bikes mm -hmm. need trauma care when they come down. Yeah. I'm like, wow. Yeah, that's what we want, though. There's nothing more fun than fixing a bike that someone has had opportunity on and, and been like, you can see a bike that's like, and they ain't really smashed up. Mm -hmm. They're just ridden out, is what we would say. Yeah, yeah. You got strong people pressing on them pedals really hard. You uh -huh. <laughs> got people with certain pace. I don't know. Don't want, what was it? On the ride I went to with Pump of Bark on that drill. Lord Jesus. I, was like, yeah. I know how old I am. I'm never going to do this again. I'm going to pause and everybody is calling me to get back in my car. <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> But it was just like I couldn't stop because the kids were there. And it was like, son, you can do it. I'm like, no, I can't. I don't like kids mm -hmm. right now. But just, you know, it's like they kept me going. You can do it, son. You can do it. So I made it back to the job. I vowed I wouldn't get on that. Much. But I made it back. And, you know, it was like that sense of unity again. Like, mm -hmm. you see them smile. And to see them, you know, their eyes open and see different things. The bike rides downtown are Amazing mm -hmm. is off the charts, you know, the ride from Columbus with the kids mm -hmm. down the lake, you know, things that they don't normally get to do. A lot mm -hmm. of kids in our neighborhood never even been there. Mm -hmm. You know, as long as you get to take them down there on the bike path and then make them ride back to the humble, it's, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Because we do have a beautiful city, regardless mm -hmm. of what transpires in it. I wouldn't live nowhere else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I love Chicago and I love the West Side. So mm. this me, this way I've been, taking kids. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Is it mainly volunteers or how much staff they have? We have been anointed. Um, we have a staff of 19 staff members now. Yeah, um, we're working at Franklin Park. We have two spaces in BBL. Um, we work out in St. Africa. And um, we have very few volunteers, though, but we highly recommend But we do take volunteers and interns. So <laughs> if y'all in school and yeah, y'all need some hours, you can come, you can come. I can put you in through BBF or boxing out negativity. Depends on your major, I'll do both. So yes. <laughs> and also we're at St. Agnes Catholic Church. So we're gonna be doing some things over the summer with families, you know, like seniors and stuff. So if y'all would like to volunteer, I'll leave my number and we can do that. And but you gotta bring a senior with you. Oh. So what we're gonna do is the North Lawndale Supper Club. Mm-hmm. And it's I was, called bridging the gap with seniors mm-hmm. and the youth. Yeah. yeah. And um, also we bridge the gap with police in the community. So we, you know, um, where I come from, the seniors all called police on the young people. So they developed mm-hmm. some type of hate. It was like a wage of war back then. It was told on me. But that was community, and we didn't realize it was community. I used to, I grew up on a block called Miller, right back in between mm-hmm. such Park and Lindell. And it was like, man, ladies on this block, I promise you, whatever I did before I got home, my grandma knew it. And like, I could be walking down the street. I'd see you zigzag, zigzag. What are you doing? Snitch. <laughs> but looking back now, I miss that. I miss that from my kids because that was them caring. Your granddaughter's over here. Your granddaughter just stole a car. No, she ain't got no car. She stole it. <laughs> but, you know, see, that was community watching out for each other. We don't have that now. People don't want to get involved. We need to bring community back to community. You know, whereas though, like when your shop's open late and somebody's walking around outside that you, they don't recognize, hey, Trevor, I just seen strange activity outside your shop. You know, community needs to be community. We all need to feel safe and love where we live. Or at least in real estate. Thank you for Anyone else have any questions for boxing out negativity or comments or anything at all? That 20th, that ride. That's the ride that starts the summer ride, too. You chose that day. Yeah. We actually have, we purposely put the race or our race one week after that because of that. Now, if y'all come to that, y'all got to come to Juneteenth also, which yeah. is going to be a three-day oh, event yeah. where we're going to have uh, entertainment, neighborhood entertainment, food, carnival rides. It's going to be family friendly, <clears throat> and there's going to be a lot of. Are you giving away bikes on Juneteenth also? You did because that might trample us. <laughs> but the bike giveaways are the best, and it would be great if you guys came to. Working on the bikes, they're ready, and we're it's going to be great on the 20th. We're going to have a partner named from Sierra Leone, and he's excited to take part in the ride. So, the director of the project over there is going to participate in bike mount negativity. Cool, all right. Well, thank you for joining us, and again, thank you for the work you're doing. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you're welcome to stick around for the rest of the meeting. No, you don't have to. There's plenty of pizza over there. Um, it's it's seven 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 to everyone. I was just trying to hear what he was talking about, too. Well, we got Jesus also from El Salvador. Oh, yeah. um, cool. Thank you, Derek. Appreciate you. Um, and thank you, Jesus. So our local partner, Derek. Sounds good. All right. Thank Thanks. You. Nice thank to meet you, China. Yeah. Come back anytime, and we'll give you a proper tour next time. All right. What's that? Um, there's an event bright that I will circulate after this meeting. I'm not sure. Hola, buenas tardes. 
anytime you call. Thank you, you dude. Know, I'm telling you. Appreciate you. Welcome to the international. Uh, we're very lucky, wow. despite me not getting the time change right. Apparently, all the store is not on the same. Oh, yeah. They like savings. Oh, but yeah. Jesus was flexible enough to join us uh, from El Salvador. Um, Jesus's English is better than my Spanish, and I am not able to uh, interpret. But thankfully, Claudia is here and is up for interpreting. <laughs> um, so we'll speak uh, slowly and allow time for interpretation. But we've worked with Jesus for. 10 years plus, um, and uh, good work they do in El Salvador with SESTA, a multifaceted organization that has a very significant flight support plan. I got to visit El Salvador back in 2014, and Jesus and Edwin showed me around, and that definitely hooked me on working bikes and the importance of what we do here and how it impacts our international partners. Shail visited more recently. Um, and I hope we can continue this connection. But I'd love to hear uh, what's going on with SESTA now, kind of a, a broad overview of SESTA as a whole and the um, bike aspect in particular, and then any other projects that you have coming up. Este, hola, buenas tardes. Buenas. Sí, sí se oye? Okay. Este, bueno, mi... Um, Trevor acaba de preguntar que um, como que han hecho recientemente, qué proyectos en qué proyectos están involucrados con las bicicletas o, o este nomás informarnos un poco de la organización Bueno, este eh, en el caso de CESTA ¿verdad? que es la organización Centro Salvadoreño de Tecnología Apropiada CESTA eh, seguimos trabajando en diferentes programas, digamos. Tenemos el programa de cero basura, que es de desechos sólidos. Uh -huh. Está el programa de cambio climático. Eh, también tenemos el programa eh, de eh, corporaciones, en contra de las corporaciones. Eh, tenemos un programa de personas con discapacidad. Trabajamos con personas con discapacidad. Eh, un programa de soberanía alimentaria es el otro, donde promovemos la agricultura este, orgánica y sostenible. Y luego tenemos el programa de Sin Bicicleta en el Planeta, que es el programa de, de bicicleta, digamos, ¿verdad? Que es con el que ustedes nos, 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 nos apoyan. Eh, con el programa de bicicleta hemos venido desarrollando una serie de actividades. Eh, logramos que se aprobara la ley. Después logramos que 12 alcaldías, en la actualidad son 12 alcaldías las que han aprobado una ordenanza de fomento del uso de la bicicleta. Eh, hace años teníamos 7, hoy tenemos 12. Eh, el año pasado, eh, la gente de Ciudades Transformadoras, bueno, es, eh, eh, quiero decir que en algunos municipios el trabajo ha sido con mujeres. El año pasado eh, estuvimos dando cursos de reparación de bicicleta dirigido exclusivamente a mujeres con el interés de apoyar a que mujeres establece, establecieran talleres de bicicleta. Es así como hemos llegado a alrededor de 17 mujeres que han logrado establecer talleres de bicicleta y tenemos alrededor de 10 eh, talleres de personas con discapacidad que también han establecido sus talleres. Los demás son hombres, eh, jóvenes, más o menos tenemos entre 45 y 50 talleres de bicicleta que han sido establecidos en todo El Salvador. Eh, no bien. sé si te parece hasta ahí para que puedas explicar. Sí, sí, sí por favor. Y okay. nomás le quería preguntar, o sea, ¿Sí? eh, le, le quería preguntar cuál era la ley que acaba de pasar. Ah, bueno, la ley, la ley se llama Ley Marco de Fomento del Uso de la Bicicleta. 
y luego tenemos, logramos que se aprobara otra ley que se llama Ley de Incentivos Fiscales a la Importación de Bicicletas Nuevas y Usadas. Uh -huh. Ley de Incentivos Fiscales a la Importación de Bicicletas Nuevas y Usadas. Eso es que cuando una bicicleta entra a El Salvador, eh, han bajado los impuestos. Ah, ok. Se paga el IVA siempre, ¿verdad? Pero eh, algunos aranceles que eran bastante altos, alrededor del 22%, hoy han bajado, estamos pagando el IVA, el 13%. Ah, ok, muy bien. Ok, ahora sí voy a traducir. Ok. Ok, so, there is a few things I might have missed a couple, um, but they do have a lot of different programs. Um, one of them is like a no waste program. Another one is um, like no corporations program, the bike program, um, program specifically for like um, folks with disabilities. Um, and then recently two laws got approved um, that like from the government that are helpful one of one of them is for like using the bicycle and then the other like ley marco de fomento del uso de la bici i'm assuming it's like something with like um mobility throughout the city and then another one was more like financial one um with uh impuestos taxes um So they got that reduced for the imp imports of bikes, of used and new bikes. So that went down from 22% to 13%. Um, they also have like 12, it seems 12 new mayors that were, that are like somehow involved in bikes. Um, they have um created a training or like created yeah a program for like women specifically mechanics to be to like grow into mechanics and then um 17 who have all like already established bike shops 17 women and then 10 um people with disabilities have started like 10 bike shops and then um But in total, it seems like 50. Okay, I got that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Eh, tengo otras fueron cosas 50, que fueron los, los que fueron 50 talleres de bicis, es, fue en general como por sus, por sus programas o era nomás en general en, en El Salvador, en esa ciudad o...? Sí, eh, no, es, es los, los 50 talleres de bicicleta que hemos apoyado están eh, en diferentes municipios, en diferentes lugares. Okay. Eh, hemos capacitado, eh, qué sé yo, 250 personas, pero a los que le hemos apoyado a establecer talleres desde el uh -huh. año 2016, 17 hasta la fecha son alrededor de 50 talleres en diferentes yeah. lugares, sí. Ok, muy bien. Yeah, in different municipalities, um, but yes, yeah, that has been since 2016 or 17. Bueno, también este, eh, nosotros eh, eh, somos un referente ante el Ministerio de Obras Públicas. El Ministerio de Obras Públicas es, eh, pertenece como al, 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 al Ejecutivo, digamos. Está en la presidencia del país, luego tiene ministerios, el Ministerio de Salud, el Ministerio de Seguridad y el Ministerio de Obras Públicas y muchos otros más. Nosotros uh -huh. tenemos contacto con el Ministerio de Obras Públicas. Participamos en las reuniones y hemos, eh, hemos eh, ahí, el Ministerio de Obras Públicas es el encargado también de la parte de transporte terrestre. Entonces uh -huh. ahí nosotros hemos logrado de que el Ministerio de Obras Públicas eh, se reúna con los grupos de ciclistas y se escucha a los grupos de ciclistas sus necesidades. Eh, hemos tenido la oportunidad de explicar la importancia de, de, de generar infraestructura vial para los ciclistas, o sea, las ciclovías. Eh, uh -huh. eh, en El Salvador, eh, digamos, el Ministerio de Obras Públicas comenzó haciendo ciclovías en lugares turísticos, digamos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. 
eh, pero nosotros hemos insistido que, eh, que los lugares más importantes para hacer ciclovía es donde la gente lo utiliza para movilizarse, para ir a trabajar o ir a estudiar. Uh -huh. Entonces, el Ministerio de Obras Públicas ha hecho algunas ciclovías en el centro de San Salvador, donde la gente lo utiliza para salir los domingos. Uh -huh. Y nosotros hemos explicado que hay zonas en, en El Salvador donde la gente la utiliza para ir a, 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 a trabajar, para movilizarse, para ir a trabajar. Este, eh, digamos, estamos incidiendo para que se hagan ciclovías en los lugares adecuados, ¿verdad? Eso es, diga, digamos, parte de, 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 de lo que estamos intentando hacer, presionar, hacer incidencia, reunirnos con, con, con la gente técnica del Ministerio de Obras Públicas, este, bueno, les hemos, le, le, les hemos dicho que sería bueno que pongan a disposición de la población bicicletas, porque uh -huh. en el centro, en las ciudades de San Salvador hay un tráfico increíble, congestionamiento, ¿verdad? Que para uh -huh. ir a un lugar en, en 15 minutos, a veces la gente tarda dos horas en vehículo. Uh -huh. Entonces, <ríe> hemos estado nosotros insistiendo que la opción de poner bicicletas a disposición de las personas y generar ciclovías es una es eh, puedes eh, es una alternativa para bajar el, el, los embotellamientos y todo lo demás muy bien voy a traducir ok so also they've been um, talking to the so it's like the presidency and then it's like ministries in like different um areas and this is like the public um public affairs maybe i don't know um that they that they're like in constant communication with and they are um like yeah they they have met with cyclists and um they've tried to push a lot like creating ciclovias which is um like I don't know if it would be similar to a bike lane or if it's like a whole, like the whole lanes are only bikes. That's, I don't know. La ciclovía son, eh, toman toda la calle o es como, como una vía al lado de donde están los carros? Sí, una vía al lado donde están los carros. Sí, una, oh, okay. Un, sí. Okay, so yeah, bike lanes. Um, And oh yeah, and that like currently they're mainly the infrastructure that there was for bikes is only in the touristy areas. Um, but they were like re meeting with them to to push for them to um be building them just where like people need to go to work on bikes and stuff like that. Um. So yeah, they're doing that, and then also. Um, and like pressuring them to like make bikes readily available for the government to make bikes available. I don't know if like just donating them or somehow, but to also they would they were making the point that it would help with traffic and like congestion um, because you could be going like somewhere that usually takes 15 minutes would take like two hours. Um, in car, like when it's really congested. Um, yeah. Seguimos, seguimos trabajando con, con centros educativos, ¿verdad? Con 25 centros educativos. Eh, eh, hemos generado grupos de ciclistas en algunas, en algunas municipalidades y realizamos múltiples eventos ciclísticos. Eh, en los eventos ciclísticos eh, no tienen el objetivo de competencia, sino simplemente de salir en bicicleta y hacer visible el uso de la bicicleta, que es factible andar en bicicleta. Eh, en Guasapa, eh, un municipio que se llama Guasapa, uh -huh. se ha conformado un grupo que se llama Mujeres Ciclistas de Guasapa. Uh -huh. este, este grupo de mujeres, este, eh, el año pasado, la iniciativa Sin Bicicleta en el Planeta, fuimos invitados a participar de un concurso internacional que se llama Ciudades Transformadoras. Uh -huh. Y el concurso eh, implicaba escoger un municipio eh, donde se estuvieran realizando diferentes actividades que sirvieran de modelo 
¿verdad? Para otros municipios. Eh, este, este concurso lo, lo lleva a cabo el Instituto Transnacional de Holanda. Además de... Además del Instituto Transición de Holanda, está otro grupo que, se, que trabaja en cambio climático siempre de Holanda que llama Ecoclice. Y está la Federación Amigos de la Tierra Internacional, entre otros, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, eh, este, 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 este concurso tiene cuatro temas. Tema de agua, tema de energía, tema de vivienda y tema de alimentos. Bueno, les cuento que de... Nosotros fuimos entre las 60 iniciativas que fueron invitados a, a presentar eh, qué es lo que se hacía, ¿verdad? Nosotros hablamos del programa Sin Bicicleta Donde Hay Planeta que se realizaba con el grupo de mujeres de WhatsApp uh -huh. en WhatsApp. Eh, de 60 iniciativas fueron escogidas 12 semifinalistas. Eh, en el caso de, de, de nosotros, fuimos escogidos entre las 12 se, se, eh, finalistas en el tema de energía por la bicicleta. Uh -huh. Y el 9 de diciembre no, se nos dio a conocer que WhatsApp había ganado el concurso. Son cuatro ganadores, uno por cada tema de los que te, de, oh, de yeah. los que te, dije, que te dije. En el caso de WhatsApp ganó en el tema de energía el concurso de ciudades transformadoras. Uh -huh. No tiene ah. reconocimiento. Sí, sí, gracias. No tiene reconocimiento económico, ¿verdad? O sea, no hay plata de por medio, ¿verdad? Pero este, sí hay, es un reconocimiento mediático. Toda la población de WhatsApp se realizaron cantidad de actividades, la alcaldía, este, uh -huh. eh, muchas actividades y eh, ciudades transformadoras, el Instituto Transnacional de Holanda genera un atlas de utopías, le llama, donde creo que hoy en mayo va a salir, ¿verdad?, eh, donde WhatsApp, bueno, ya dieron a conocer que somos ganadores, pero eh, lo suben al Atlas de Utopía. Si uno entra a la página de Ciudades Transformadoras, ahí aparece que WhatsApp ganó el primer lugar, pero sí. el Atlas todavía eh, 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 están cambiándolo ahorita, ¿verdad? Aparece la información del año 2021, pero este, está en ese proceso. Entonces, eh, las mujeres felices, ¿verdad? Las la, la mujeres de... de eh, del Comité Ciclista de Guasapa, eh, mujeres, sí. ¿cómo se llama? Mujeres ciclistas de Guasapa, felices por, por haber ganado, y nosotros igual, ¿verdad? Sí, qué bueno, felicidades. Gracias. Este, ok, so, they also have um, 25 education centers. Um, um, yeah, different cycling, cycling groups in different moon municipalities um but not to compete just to um like have the bikes be visible like visibility like raise consciousness that way um and then what he was talking about that i was congratulating him for was um that they there's like one of the municipalities municipalities is called Wasapa and they have a group um mujeres ciclistas de Wasapa um like women cyclists of the the I don't know if it's city or town um and then that there was a competition for like um transformational cities that was like the name of the um competition and basically like serving as models for other cities or just in general um and they have the competition has four categories uh water energy housing and um like food alimentos like sustenance um and then And yeah, there were like 60 groups invited to it. Um, and then they made it to semi-finalists of like 12 groups, um, semi-finalists and under the category of energy, um, like sustainable um, energy, biking, blah, blah. And then um, Wasapa, um, they actually won. So that's what I was congratulating. Yeah. 
but they're oh okay oh okay yeah <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was online voting. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Dice Trevor y algunos también que este um, lo pusimos en nuestras redes sociales y que algunos también votaron por por el grupo de WhatsApp. <laughs> <laughs> Ojalá ayudó sí. algo. Sí, sí. Uh, este, yo. Quiero decir que la votación pública fue el último, eh, eh, el ulti, la última parte, la última fase. Pero antes uh -huh. de la votación pública hu hu hubo un, digamos, como un pool de evaluadores, un grupo de evaluadores que tiene Ciudades Transformadoras. Alrededor de 12, 15 personas estudian las, las iniciativas, ¿verdad? Eh, uh -huh. Y la votación pública es la última fase. Es decir, eh, eh, el, el, eh, lo último, ¿verdad? Es sumamente importante que todo el que todo mundo vote, pero también el trabajo, este, eh, 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 ellos contratan un periodista, el periodista vino aquí en El Salvador, sacó la información, fue a ver, ¿verdad? Llevó la información, mandó la información a, a Holanda eh, para que los evaluadores pudieran ver el trabajo y la votación internacional fue fue el último paso, ¿verdad? Que del 6 de octubre al, al 6 de noviembre, ¿verdad? Así o sea, que ya, ¿ya eran semifinalistas? Sí, al 6 de octubre eh, éramos semifinalistas, ¿verdad? Y al 6 de octubre. El... De, de, después de todo Ajá. el proceso de evaluación de, 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 de los evaluadores, digamos, del 6 de octubre al 6 de noviembre fue la votación pública internacional. Ah, Así okay. es que este, nosotros recibimos este, información de que hubieron personas de Estados Unidos que votaron. Así es que muchas gracias a ustedes, ¿verdad? Sí, dijo que no hubo una evaluación antes de que se convirtieran en semifinalistas, donde um, like, los entrevistadores de Holland, ¿es eso? ¿Es eso? Holland? Y uh -huh. um, luego, no estaba seguro si es translated it's something else in English but okay Holland um yeah and oh yeah and then after like October from October 6th to November is when it was the public vote and they did receive some votes from the U.S. so thank you for that <laughs> um yeah oh and I forgot to mention that it wasn't uh like they won anything financially but it was like the public recognition of it and so. stuff Yeah. Okay, okay, digamos, eso es a grandes rasgos lo que, lo que estamos, el trabajo que estamos realizando. Este, sí. eh, eh, tenemos el desafío, por ejemplo, que los talleres, ¿verdad? Eh, okay. Siempre eh, están fuertes, eh, demandando suministros, digamos, repuestos, etc. Y entonces, este, eh, Nada, agradecer todo, todo el apoyo que, que, y el esfuerzo que ustedes hacen por, por, por apoyarnos a nosotros y a otros grupos a nivel mundial, ¿verdad? Así es que muchas gracias uh -huh. por, por ello. Ah, gracias. Um, he's just saying um, thank you for all um, your efforts as well in helping us, not just here, but like in other places of the world. Yeah. No sé, ¿tienen alguna pregunta? Con gusto. Any question? A couple of just about the scale of the operation. So it's mm -hmm. a, in San Marcos, it's a big um, facility. About how many bicycles do you process each year? How many do you bring in and get out to people? And of those, how many bikes do you fix at SESTA versus how many are fixed by the partner shops? Um, I know they give some bikes kind of on consignment and then get payment later. Okay. Okay, este, me acaba de preguntar, Trevor, que este, si tiene algunas cifras sobre cuántas bicis reciben y cuántas... Um, no sé si las donan o las venden. Ok, sí. Al, al, bueno, 
eh, de un contenedor, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Eh, un contenedor a veces puede andar entre 450, 475 bicicletas, ¿verdad? Eh, de esas, eh, nosotros eh, donamos algunas a alguna comunidad que va a ser, hace una rifa, no sé cómo, si, uh -huh. eh, para recaudar fondos, para poner eh, agua, por ejemplo, en la comunidad, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Eh, algunas también donamos a algún centro educativo, por eso tenemos 25 centros educativos que hemos apoyado. Cada uno de estos centros educativos tiene, eh, hemos donado alrededor de 15 20, o 25 bicicletas, ¿verdad? Eh, uh -huh. Otras bicicletas, este... Eh, son eh, entregadas a los talleres a muy bajo costo, ¿verdad? Eh, los talleres, cuando viene un contenedor, los talleres son los, los que vienen y adquieren la, la bicicleta a muy bajo costo, ¿verdad? Sí. Y luego la bicicleta que queda, nosotros la, la vendemos a otros compradores o en nuestra sala de ventas, ¿Verdad? Para poder mantener el, 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 el proyecto, pagar este, el, el, el transporte, el flete y todo lo demás. Ok. Y también preguntó que cuántas de las bicis son arregladas allí en Cesta y cuántas son arregladas por las... No sé si tienen como otras sucursales o de no. talleres o qué... Bueno, lo, los talleres... Eh, el grupo de talleres compra, eh, eh, se, le entregamos la bicicleta a bajo costo, pueden comprar de un contenedor alrededor de 100 bicicletas, ¿verdad? Ok. Sí, mm -hmm. las otras, las otras, otras, otras 200 bicicletas las compran uh, otros compradores, digamos, ¿verdad? Y las otras, eh, la que quedan, normalmente la bicicleta que queda es la bicicleta más... Eh, 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 la, la que se mira un poco más vieja o la que le faltan más repuestos porque los talleres uh -huh. adquieren la bicicleta más completa o las personas que llegan a comprar bicicletas que son otros talleres pero no son talleres que nosotros hemos formado los primeros sí, los primeros talleres que compran 100 bicicletas son talleres que nosotros hemos formado los otros talleres que nosotros le llamamos compradores verdad uh -huh. eh, que la única relación que tenemos es comercial ellos uh -huh. eh, eh, compran también esta bicicleta, pero a un precio diferenciado de los talleres, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Un precio un poco más alto. Y sí. luego las otras alrededor de 150, 200 bicicletas son las que son reparadas en cesta con los grupos que llegan ahí. Ok. Ok, muy bien. So, um, roughly that they get in from the containers is around 450. Um, sometimes they donate some to like raffles, um, for if they're like trying to bring water to a town or something like that. Um, and then, so there's their partner, the partner shops, um, that they formed. Those are, it's like around a hundred that they sell to them at a low cost. And then after that, around 200 are other buyers, like other shops, but not the ones that they formed. Um, and then the rest, like 150 to 200, are the, one, the, are the ones that are left that need more work, like more maintenance, possibly. And those are the ones that stay at Cesta. So do the bikes say... Quiero decir que los repuestos, los repuestos que ustedes ponen en, 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 en el container este, todos los repuestos nosotros los ocupamos, todos los repuestos algunos sí. de esos repuestos son entregados a los talleres sí. eh, pero eso, eh, eh, los repuestos no son eh, son digamos suministrados sin ningún costo parte de los repuestos, otros repuestos quedan, quedan eh, para, para, para el taller de cesta pero de ahí todo, 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 muchos de otros repuestos son entregados al, al, a los talleres, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Muy bien. Las llantas Creo usadas, que... este, todo, todo, todo. Sí. Había otra pregunta. But he was just saying that um, the like replacement parts and stuff that, that is just given to the other shops. Like they don't charge for that. Um, sorry, what was the question? 
curious to know if the bike mm -hmm. sales help to support other programs. Oh, mm -hmm. este tiene una pregunta sobre las bicis que venden. Um, eh, si a, ese dinero que recaudan um, apoya a otros programas educativos. Eh, sí, por ejemplo, ahorita en los centros educativos estamos incorporando la parte de huertos urbanos o agricultura eh, orgánica. Eh, uh -huh. Digamos, eso uh, eh, sale también de la venta de bicicletas, ¿verdad? Apoya esa, 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 esa área, digamos, ¿verdad? Eh, a veces eh, también eh, apoyamos a los otros programas, eh, eh, al, al, principalmente al, al cero basura, digamos, el de desechos. Eh, uh -huh. Trabajamos muy unidos en diferentes festivales, ferias, eh, y, y este, eh, nosotros apoyamos también a, a esos otros programas de cesta. Sí. Uh -huh. um, yeah, it, it does support. Um, he previously mentioned, I also forgot to say that it pays for operations too. Um, but yeah, some of the main ones that um programs that it helps fund is um one about like organic culture and then another one of like zero waste like yeah. también este eh, bueno como nuestras instalaciones son grandes verdad y a veces mm -hmm. ahí llega mucha gente y hace reuniones diferentes los diferentes programas hacen diferentes reuniones eh, sí. eh, eh, tenemos un salón de reuniones, espacios para que la gente pueda llegar a, 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 a hacer prácticas agrícolas, etcétera. Y digamos, uh -huh. a todas esas personas también eh, les apoyamos en alguna medida porque del programa este, eh, de bicicletas es donde sale para pagar, digamos, los impuestos municipales, el agua, la energía eléctrica, uh -huh. los gastos corrientes, digamos. Es sí, otro sí. apoyo que se da a los otros programas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the same thing that pays for water, like all the expenses that they have. And that also um, other organizations use their space um, for like they have a conference room that they can use and um, th where they can like do various projects or have meetings. Pretty late, but I missed the last curious how many um, containers came through in 2022 and from which partners okay um what from which partners yeah, like, oh like we're not their only partner oh okay okay um está preguntando que cuántos wait from 2022 okay cuántos este cuántos de los containers contenedores recibieron de, um, del año pasado y cuántos fueron de Working Bike y, ajá, y los demás en general, cuántos fueron en general. El, el año pasado creo que solamente recibimos cinco. Cinco. Cinco, sí. Yo creo que tres creo que fueron de Working Bike, dos o tres creo que fueron de Working Bike, creo. Okay. O cuatro, bueno, espere, ente, Sí, entonces solamente uno de, 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 de otro lado, sí. Cinco o seis, creo que recibimos. Seis, seis. Ok. Sí, sí. sí. Bikes for the World? Sí, los otros dos, dos de Bikes for the World y cuatro de ustedes, entonces, sí. Sí, entiendo. Y que uh, Bikes Not Bombs en Boston. Ok. El año pasado, Bikes Not Bombs no nos mandó ningún contenedor. Nos mandó uno el año 2020. Ah, ok. Sí, ¿Este año? Pero este año, eh, o sea, sí. no, el, el 2020 nos mandó uno. 2021, ninguno. Sí. Eh, perdón, 2000, 2021 nos mandó uno, perdón. 2022, ah, okay. ninguno. Hoy, 2023, se ha puesto en contacto con nosotros, este, Elija. Ah, ok. Y... y, y Posible, y nos han dicho que están cargando un contenedor para nosotros hoy en abril, abril, mayo, por ahí. Ah, oh, muy bien. Okay. Sí. So, uh, Bikes on Bombs used to ship a lot internationally. It hasn't shipped for a while, didn't ship any in 2022, but made contact again this year through Erica. 
don't know, but we'll send again, which is great. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I dominated the questions. <laughs> mm -hmm. Algo más? Creo que ya, ya es todo. Muchas gracias. Gracias, gracias. Bueno, saludos. Gracias a ustedes, ¿verdad? Okay. Hasta luego. Bueno, saludos. Me desconectaré entonces, ¿verdad? Sí, que pase buena noche, gracias. Gracias, igualmente, buenas noches. Bueno. Gracias.